in primitive times there was a rural and intelligent king who constantly worried about something or the other and every now and then for various reasons he used to feel helpless and hapless he often behaved like those ordinary people who for lack of resources could never face a problem in a lively and bold manner as a consequence of which he never laughed even his ministers never saw him laughing nor did they ever smile in the king's presence one day the well wishes of the king discreetly thought of ways and means to change his attitude towards life so they made a plan next time when the king's court was held like any other time the king called for his closest minister and said i am worried about something upon hearing this the minister promptly replied as your honor i know that and i have been thinking about it upon hearing the minister's reply the king was astounded the king asked even without me telling you how do you know about my worry the minister replied humbly your majesty i am not interested in learning about your problem because i already know the solution to your problem king was surprised at this and he said even without knowing me a problem how do you know the solution minister replied in a respectful tone your majesty quite possibly you may not have one but many problems but to all your problems there is only one solution and upon hearing this the king got baffled and hastily asked may i know what is the solution to my problem the minister replied your majesty please don't worry about the solution as it is absolutely on the dot and perfect for you the king tried to guess what the minister had in mind when he said well if there is a problem how can i not worry minister bowed respectfully and asked your majesty till date has your worry solved any of your problems the king replied No. The minister replied, "Well, if that is so, then why worry? Mystery of success doesn't lie in worries, but removal of worries. And it is also true that your worries lead you to your grave. The joy of life is in rejoicing, and not in worrying. Your Majesty, you are so knowledgeable. With your wisdom, you lead us." So then why don't you set up a more vivacious aura of yourself in front of us The king then realized his stupidity and ignorance he also realized how in a subtle manner his minister and his well-wishers taught him the simple fact of life He started laughing and was rather astonished when everyone else too started laughing with him Worrying is not the solution to our problem on the contrary it makes us we can't create barriers on our way to success to win over your worry means you have already won 50% of the battle